Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to apply HDR effects on your pictures. So uh, the HDR effects is about uh, sharpness, smoothness, and uh, the HDR uh, effects uh, give you a big kind of professional view. Yeah. So first of all, open your Adobe. After that, I'm selecting a picture of a car. Okay. So first of all, duplicate that layer by drawing it. Yeah. So guys why we duplicate that layer in every tutorial we duplicate that layer because when we when we have our first when we choose our picture they will appear as background and there's a lock on the image so due to that lock we can't apply effects on that layer. and sometimes uh, we do uh, double click on the layer and we change its name layer 0 right there this is now the um, the layer is unlocked but we do as a normal thing yeah, by dragging that to there and duplicate it and they will come back on copy so if we done something wrong then we delete that layer and again we start work on the background one so that's why we duplicate the layer. So after that, go on to um, select background copy, filter other, and high pass. Yeah, we will put ratio about three point two between three point two and 3.5 I am selecting 3.5 and then blending mode we change its blending mode to um, we choose it color 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 And we done, and we changing its opacity to about 30 to 35, and I'm giving it 35 there. So have we right click on the image, or we go to image? Now we're going to there, yeah, and we right click on background copy. Oops, right click on there, flatten image. Yeah, well, again, look, there's the lock again, yeah. We got one layer and it's got log. We again duplicate it. There. And we go on f selecting background copy. We go on filter. Blur. Gaussian blur. I'm choosing it about to 9.3 or 9.5. Whatever you like. Yeah. So according to the picture. Yeah. And now go on filter noise add noise and 3 about 3 and distribution about uniform and ok now we go on layer layer mask hide all 
After it, we choose brush tools by pressing B or going there. And then I'm choosing its opacity 30%. Now you must choose foreground will be white and background will be black. And now we paint. Um, I'm changing my brush. We point brush our background except our subject. So this is our subject. If there is a man in our pig, we don't uh, use brush on the person. Yeah, and we uh, move brush uh, our uh, our, uh, our background. Yeah, so. I'm gonna move brush on the background except our image, our you know the car or our it will be it's going to be blurred a little bit, not much, but it's going to blur. When you do it, you know how it works. Unsharp mask amount about ninety five radius about um, twenty three point five control zero test okay Uh, while layer is locked, you can apply some effects. That's why I use unshop mask. So, because I know it will be worked here. So, um, now I'm gonna duplicate layer. I'm giving you some curves. Uh, curve. and here's your picture guys thanks for watching see you soon